Anime Studio 11 brings a lot of changes and enhancements to the software. There are so many, in fact, that it's hard to list them all. So this video just covers a few minor enhancements made to the program. First, let me show you an upgrade to the camera. I'm going to come over here and we're just going to grab the zoom tool and just zoom in a bit like so. Now, as you can see, as I zoom in, or even if I were to truck in or two, you can see as I do this that we have no issue with how the object is being displayed. In the past, with previous versions of Anime Studio, we kind of got this stretchy effect as we were to zoom in or truck in to different objects on the canvas. Now the camera mimics a 35 millimeter lens by default, giving you better looking results as you use the camera. Previewing was introduced in Anime Studio 10, and we can now preview faster. If we come up here to the file menu, you can see we have preview, no anti-aliasing. This allows us to render out our previews faster while sacrificing anti-aliasing. And this should be fine for most testing purposes because that's what previews are meant for, just to test things out. So if you're in a hurry, be sure to try that option out. Finally, if we go up here to the view menu, we now have a new option, show 3D axes. When we click on this, and if I were to just zoom back out, you can see now we have our axes displayed on the canvas, giving us a better handle on the 3D space in Anime Studio. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio or more tutorials, please visit anime.smithmicro.com.